welcome back to my channel. It's time for another Guess the Recipe. Today we are going to be opening this box and we have to make a meal using whatever random ingredients are inside this box. And now it's time to open the box. Every time I struggle with this. Ah, there we go. Uh, okay, these are really, really, really random. Today there is an added challenge because I have to make whatever this is gonna make in under five hours. Okay, the timer is set, so let's get crackalackin'. I think the first things I'm noticing are the lemon juice, the raspberries, and the sugar. I think that's gonna make a reduction sauce. But now we have this weird assortment of things. <gasps> Wait, okay, something I've started doing when I'm guessing the recipe is looking at the odd thing out, and that is the gelatin. I know gelatin kind of stiffens things like puddings and ice cream, I think. And it also does like a, if you ever see those cakes with like the uh, jelly base or whatever. So taking the gelatin and looking at everything I have here, it looks like we might have the ingredients for a panna cotta. So we're gonna take the gelatin and the milk first, and we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that. Oh my goodness, okay, so I need a third cup of milk and a packet of the gelatin. We need to mix that together. It appears that the gelatin is dissolved in the milk, so we're gonna set that aside and we're going to work on our sweet cream. Can't be a chef without an apron. I learned the hard way a couple videos ago when I made macarons and I got food coloring on my jeans. So we need a saucepan and we're going to need two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. And then I'm gonna need a half cup of sugar. I'm gonna stir this over medium heat until all the sugar dissolves in the cream. I'm trying to make this quick too because it has to sit in the fridge for about four hours, which means, I'm, and then I have to get it out and decorate it and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm gonna let this just come to a boil and then we'll do some more stuff. It has officially been 15 minutes. We have 15 minutes left. The heavy cream is boiling, which means it's time to move on to the next step. Can I get this done in 15 minutes? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to take this gelatin milk that I've created and I'm going to pour it into my sweet cream and then we're going to stir until that's dissolved, which shouldn't take too long. All right, then we're gonna cook it for about a minute more and then I'm gonna prepare my ramkins. So now we're going to take this and then we're gonna start filling the ramkins. Well, that one's gonna be kind of lacking, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe I should just make five. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna make five. And now we need to let these cool to room temperature and then I need to cover them and put them in the fridge. We have 11 minutes left. Can these cool in time to put them in the fridge? <sighs> I think they can. I'm believing in it. Okay, well, I will see you guys when these cool. It's been 34 minutes. I've been checking the temperature of these. We wanted it to be around 70 degrees before we put it in the fridge. It's at like 117, 118 degrees Fahrenheit. I think I'm gonna make the executive decision to cover it and put it in the fridge because we are low on time. We wanna cover it with some plastic wrap. Okay, let's put these in the fridge. They're still a little warm, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out. And now we wait. So now we only have 22 extra minutes at the end of the four hours, and that's if these cool completely. I'm a little nervous that it's not gonna work out. Best of luck! <laughs> so while those ramkins with my panna cotta in them harden and cool, I'm going to start on what looks like a raspberry syrup, uh, like a syrup. I call myself the queen of reduction sauces because I know how to make them. And you can be a queen of reduction sauces too after watching me do this. So I'm gonna start with about a cup of raspberries. I'm gonna actually add in a little bit of water. Personal preference, I just like to have it a little bit more saucy. I'm gonna add in some of my lemon juice. 
about two tablespoons, a rather large pinch of sugar. Let's go ahead and turn this on to medium high heat. I almost feel like frozen raspberries are going to retain more liquid and maybe they'll put out more liquid at the end of all this, I don't know. Okay, I think this raspberry sauce is about done. I actually want the pulp in it, so I'm not gonna strain it out. I'm gonna pour it into this bowl right here. It smells so good. And I'm gonna do let it do the rest of the reducing while it's in this bowl. We have six minutes on the timer left. The only two ingredients I have left are my Oreos and my chocolate chips. Okay, um, we gotta move fast. I'm gonna crush these Oreos, that's not working. So I'm just, I'm gonna hit this and to crumble the Oreos. Okay, you can do this, Cassie. I can't believe this. I have so much time to do this and yet I didn't do it. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, great. And then I'm gonna take the chocolate chips. I'm gonna pour them into a microwave, a microwave safe bowl. And we're gonna just melt them. So I'm starting to pull out the panna cotta. Give that a stir. We have four minutes left now. Four minutes, ladies and gentlemen. This is a good move. This is a good move for sure. All right, 30 more seconds. Let's go. I need to take these little coverings off of the ramkins. And honestly, for the time being, I'm only gonna focus on one. I'll eat the rest of them later. This one looks the best. These actually look delicious though. So I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to kind of slide it around the edge here. So now I need some hot water. We're gonna bathe this in hot water for like three seconds. Oh, oh no, oh no. We got hot water, we got hot water, everybody. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I realize now that says two minutes. It's just one minute showing on the clock. So I have some time, I have some time. Okay, okay. I don't know if this is right or not, but okay. I let it bathe in the hot water for a few seconds. So it should plop right out onto this plate. Moment of truth. Here we go. So there it is. Okay, we're gonna take our strawberry filling and spoon it on there, right on, oh, right over top. <gasps> oh no! The timer just went off. Oh, all right. Well, what I was gonna do is take some of this raspberry jam, just like this. Unfortunately, I didn't meet my time requirement, but it's fine. And then I was gonna take some Oreos and sprinkle them on top, like so. And then I was going to take this bag of melted chocolate and I was just gonna drizzle on some melted chocolate, which is not looking good. Oh my God! Wow! Ew. Now, for the moment of truth, it is time to taste. We're just gonna dig right in. Get all the flavors in there. Whoa. All the flavors in there together. Mmm. I really like that. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Guys, this would be so good on its own. Wow, and then with the chocolate, honestly, I just think it'd be better on its own. I don't know if I consider that a win taste-wise. The raspberry flavoring is really throwing me off because it's like sour with like the sweet thing. But honestly, it's really not bad. Well, there you have it. Now it is time to find out what I was supposed to make. Okay, I just got a text. Let's find out what I was supposed to make. Oh. Chocolate raspberry mousse verines. I have never even heard of a verine before. What's a verine? It's like a mousse. Interest, that is not what I ended up making at all. Wow. So, A plus on creativity, big fat F on nailing the recipe. Darn, I'm still proud of myself. Well, there you have it. Today, I did not guess the recipe correctly, but I still made a delicious dessert. So I'm very thankful for the creativity that was inspired by this, for, by these ingredients. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, I so, so, so enjoyed making it for y'all. And if you enjoyed watching it, I would absolutely love it if you guys could smash 
that like button, smash that subscribe button for more fun cooking videos like this and for more Guess the Recipe videos every single Friday. I love making this for y'all so much and I so, so, so love the little family that we're growing right now. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!